This is the part 2 of um, sample problems for module 3 analysis of structure. So, um, this time we will analyze the structure or a truss by method of sections. So, your solutions, so as a review, will consist of the following steps. First is um, you draw a free body diagram of the entire truss and use that diagram to determine the reactions to the supports using the equilibrium equations and then next is to pass a section through three members of the truss one of which is desired or the three members are desired next is select one of the two portions so when you cut a truss so you have uh, the left side and the right side so you will choose between the two and draw its free body diagram to solve for the unknowns now you can now write the three equilibriums to find those unknowns and or if um, you have only one member to determine so you can have an alternate approach to write a single equation to find that unknown and then um, six is keep in mind that the section you use must intersect three members only so hindi pwedeng apat or lima so dapat tatlo lang kasi tatlo lang din yung equations natin so it must be three unknowns also Okay, so first problem. So using method of sections, we will analyze this truss. Okay. For problem 6.2, so um, using uh, this uh, truss here, so determine the force of member EF. So member EF, so this member and member GI, so this member of the truss showed. So, ano yung first na ano natin? So, first is the free body diagram. So, maybe we can use the figure na to use the, uh, to draw a free body diagram. So, uh, we will now um, include the um, reactions at the supports. So, reaction at, uh, support at J is a roller. So, meaning we have a um, upward force reaction at J. So we have here C, J. And then, we have a hinge here. So we have the long reaction in X axis and Y axis. So this is for the Y axis, say B, Y. And for B, X, so we have the direction. But, as you can see from the structure, we have isang force on the x-axis going to the right. So meaning, to counter this force, the bx natin should be to the left also. Yeah. Okay. So now we determine the uh, reaction at the support using the um, equilibrium equations. So first is, um, we will find the um, J. So to do that, we will have uh, or we will create a moment at B so, so that may eliminate natin yung B, BX and BY. So ang unknown na lang natin is yung J. So summation of moment at B equals to 0 counterclockwise positive. So yung forces involved na lang is yung 28 kips na uh, um concentrated load at C and G and yung J natin. So, starting with the 28 kips at C, it will create a clockwise rotation at B. So, yung perpendicular distance niya is 8 feet. So, that means clockwise is negative. 28 um, kips multiplied by 8 feet. And then, the same goes for the 28 kips at G. So, clockwise the new rotation niya. So, 28 feet. Ah, no. 28 kips. Multiplied by. So, we have 8 times 3. So, that is 24 feet. And then, yung J natin. Magkukate siya ng 
clockwise, uh, counterclockwise, so that is positive. So J multiplied by, that is um, 4 times 8, so 32 feet equals 0. So the only unknown here is J. So we can solve that. J is equals to 33 kips. That is upward. Okay, so meron na tayong J. Now to solve um, for Bx and By. So summation of forces X equals to 0. Going to the right is positive. So the only force at x axis is bx and t16 kips. So meaning 16 kips minus bx equals 0. So bx is equals to 16 kips. So it is alright to assume that um, bx could be going to the right, but um, uh, dapat yung assumption is parang calculated na assumption. So, titignan yung structure kung may mga forces na on x-axis. So, um, especially kung isa lang, so ika-counter mo yung reaction mo dun. Okay, so last uh, equation is summation of forces y equals 0. Upward is positive. So, sa y naman, so we have by plus yung j natin which is 33 kips. And then, minus 28, minus 28 equals 0. So, By is equals to, so that is um, third, uh, 28 plus 28 minus 33 if we transpose it sa, sa kabilang um, part ng equation. So, By will then be equal to 23 Keeps upward. So that is our by. So now we have solved for the um, reactions. And next is we will now pass a um, section or cut kung saan yung hinahanap natin na members. So in this case, um, we are looking for members EF this member and this member. So, um, we cannot cut this ng isang um, cut lang. So, for example, pwede naman na ganito yung gawin natin, no? But, you will cut a section more than three members. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, merong 5 members. So, um, hindi pwede yung um, ganun na pagpas ng section. It should be, so sa uh, um, um to call this, sa yung solution, steps niya is dapat tatlong members lang yung um, ikakat natin. So, this member, uh, this section and also this section. So, we will have two uh, different solutions for in finding EF and GI. So, two uh, free body diagram, two uh, way of solving. So, first is, since N to, so mag-start tayo sa N section. So, if you cut the member, at N and taking the left side of the um, truss. So, ito yung magiging free body diagram niya. So, yung free body diagram is ganito. So, we are looking for this force. So, if we analyze or if we try to understand the um, uh, free body diagram, we can solve um, force EF using only one um, equation and that is summation of forces along y equals 0 so you can see yung mga y forces natin dito is 23 kips 28 kips and FEF so we can solve it uh, directly using this equation para mahanap natin yung EF so but you can also use moments or other equations but you, uh, for efficiency uh, is gagamit lang tayo ng summation of forces y. So, summation of forces y so that is um, 23 kips minus 28 kips. So, we have assumed muna that um, all forces are in tension or away from the joint. 
So, yun yung first assumption natin. And then, minus F, EF equals 0. So, from this, um, we have solved that force EF is equals to negative 5 keeps. So, negative meaning mali yung assumption natin. So, the right direction or the right uh, orientation ng FEF is compression. So, this means FEF is equals to 5 keeps compression. So, yan yung um, force in member EF. So, we have solved for EF. So, ngayon naman, isolve natin yung GI. So, to solve GI, we will cut a section through um, CI, HI, and HJ. So, ito yung free body diagram niya. Considering yung right part. So, considering right part kasi, mas madali siya kasi konti lang yung forces na involved compared kung yung left side yung gagamitin natin. So, marami-rami yung or mahaba-haba yung magiging equation natin if we use the uh, left part ng truss. Okay. So, for member GI, we will create a um, extension here. So, yung H, ito, itong portion. So, ipapagita natin yung joint dito. So, by creating a moment dito, we can eliminate um, force HJ and force HI so that ang remaining lang na unknown is yung FGI natin. Okay? So, you can uh, always do that. So, ito yung um, part of the steps where you can um, solve the problem using single equation. So, meaning you will uh, create a moment here and eliminating FHI kasi when a force is passing through the uh, joint where you will create a moment is zero yung magiging um, value niya or uh, eliminated siya kasi yung perpendicular distance niya is magiging zero. So, walang effect yung FHI and FHJ dun sa magiging equation natin. So, summation of moment at H equals to zero counterclockwise positive. So, the only remaining uh, remaining forces are 33 kips, 16 kips, and FGI. Okay, so FGI will create a counterclockwise rotation with respect to H. So, that is positive. So, FGI multiplied by its perpendicular distance which is yung 10 feet. 10 feet. Okay, so another counterclockwise yung effect ng 33 kips. So, counterclockwise, which ang perpendicular distance niya is 8 feet. So, plus 33 kips multiplied by 8 feet. And then, yung 16 kips naman is clockwise yung magiging effect niya. So, that is 16 kips. So, what is the perpendicular distance? Perpendicular distance niya is yung 10 feet. So, if we extend here, so ito, ito is 10 feet. So, pareha dito. Okay, so 10 feet equals 0. So FGI is equals to negative, so maging negative siya, 10.4 kips. Okay, so this means negative yung sign. So meaning, yung FGI natin is, mali yung assumption natin na it is intention, but Instead, it, it is in compression. So, meaning, FGI natin is equals to 10.4 kips compression. So, that is the member FGI. So, that is how you solve um, problem using method of joints by finding one uh, bar force na unknown. Okay, so, um, to further understand yung method of joints natin, so we will have another problem where you will find yung tatlo mismo. So, if you cut a section and you will find, uh, you will solve for the three bar forces. The next na problem natin. So, sample problem, another sample problem using this um, truss here. So, this is a 6 panel 5 meters, meaning 
this um, uh, distance A C C E E G G I K and, and K L are think so five meters so parang ganyan. so five 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 okay so okay so let's try solving this problem okay so sample sample problem six point three. So determine the force in members FH, GH, and GI. So this is FH, GH, and GI. So meaning, isang cut lang yung gagawin natin, but tatlong force yung isosolve natin. Okay, so, um, so hanap natin FH, GH, and GI. So first step is to determine the reactions. So, magiging free body diagram niya is, this is a roller. So, say this is L. And this is a hinge. So, this is AX, uh, AY. And this is AX. But, as you can see from the um, truss, so, wala tayong force applied na um, um, at the x-axis. So, meaning, the only force at the x-axis is AX. So, meaning, for the truss to be in equilibrium state, X is equals to 0. So, pwede, pwede na natin na hindi isali yung AX. Since wala namang magka-counter or walang ika-counter yung AX na reaction natin. So, only AY and L. Okay. So, first, final reaction. So, um, first, um, create a moment at A. To find L, so summation of moment at A equals 0, counterclockwise, positive. So, wala muna yung AY. So, may limit muna yung AY. So, um, the distance here is, this is 5 meters, no? 5 meters, 5 meters, 5 meters, 5 meters, 5 meters, and 5 meters. Okay, so first is at B and C. So, pwede natin na i-add na lang yung force. Uh, 1 kN plus 5 kN since they are in the same line of action. So, yung effect niya is pwede natin i-add na lang. So, magiging 6 kN. This will create a clockwise rotation. And the same same goes for all applied forces. no? So, negative 6 kN multiplied by 5 meters. And then, negative 6 again. That is five, uh, 1 plus 5 times 10 meters na and then negative 6 kN times 15 meters so ito and then 1 kN times ilan na um, 1, 2, 3, 4 so 20 meters minus 1 kN again times 25 meters and then yung L natin it will create a clockwise rotation so plus L times 30 meters equals 0. So, L is equals to, so, ilan yung L natin? Try solving it. So, L is equals to, okay, 7.50 kN upward. So, ito yung reaction at L. So, this is equals to 7.50 kN. And then, next is to, Find a y so, um, pwede ka mag moment at l but for um, convenience we can use summation of forces y equals zero upward positive so th that is a y plus l which is 750 kilonewton plus so we add natin yung mga bar uh, yung mga applied forces natin so um, 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, plus 20 kilonewton. Ah, minus 20 kilonewton equals 0. So, 20, lilipat natin sa kabilang equation. So, magiging 20 minus 7.5. So, AY is then equals to 12.50 kilonewton. Okay, so we have now solved for the reaction. So, AY is 12.50 kN. Yan. So, nasolve natin yung AY. And then, 
since um, medyo complicated yung trust natin, so isa-solve natin yung angle natin dito. So, say this is alpha. So, to solve for alpha, we can have this triangle. No? So, this triangle. So, this is alpha. Uh, half of 30 is 15 meters and this part here is 8 meters yung height niya. 8 meters. So, we can use tangent Tangent alpha is equals to opposite, which is 8 over, so that is towa, no? Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, adjacent niya is 15 meters. Okay. So, alpha is equals to, lipat natin tangent, tangent inverse of 8 over 15. So, alpha is equals to, na yung alpha natin equals to okay, 28.07 degrees. So, this is our alpha. So, with this, we can now solve for, uh, we can now pass a section, so that is this section, to solve for members FH, GH, and GI. Okay, so, ito na magiging uh, diagram natin. So, meron na mga values. So, if we cut the section at FH, GI, and um, GH, so ano yung isi-select natin na part? Yung right side or yung left side? So, yung titinang natin, sa left side, marami-rami yung mga bar for, yung mga forces na applied. So, doon na lang tayo sa right side kasi 1 kN, 1 kN yun ay yung 7.5 lang yung um, up, uh, involved na forces. So, mas madali yung magiging solution natin. Okay, so, cutting the section, this will now be the um, figure or the free body diagram. So, solving for member, ano yung solve natin? So, ano mas madali gawin dito? So, we'll solve for member GI. Kasi, we can have a moment at H to eliminate FFH and FGH muna and then Tatlong forces na lang yung natira. So, that is 1 kN and yung 7.5 natin. So, we will, uh, we will have uh, we'll have a summation of moment at H equals to 0, counterclockwise, positive. So, if we sum, sum a moment at H, so yung FJ natin is my clockwise na rotation. So, but first, how do we solve this 5.33? So, if you look at this triangle, so if you look at this triangle, parang din divide siya into three triangles. So meaning, um, this is, for example, this is one, this is two thirds, and this is one third. So pwede natin gawin na um, two third times eight, which is yung highest or yung uh, longest side <coughs> on the three, sa tatlong ito. So, 2 third times 8 is 5.3. But you can also solve it using similar triangles. So say this triangle. So this is 8. So say this is x. And this is 10. And yung dito na part naman is 15. So we can say that x over 8. So by proportion, x over 8 is equals to 10 over 15. So if we solve x, that is 5.33 meters. So, ganun yung, uh, how you find that 5.33. Um, and then, the summation of moment at H equals to 0. So, FGI, meron siyang clockwise na rotation with respect to H, so magiging negative siya. FGI times 5.33 meters. And then, with respect to H, yung, uh, yung 1 kN natin is merong another clockwise rotation. So, minus 1 kN multiplied by 5 meters na perpendicular distance. So, the distance dito is, which is 5. So, pareha dito. And then, yung 7.5 is magiging uh, positive since it will create a clockwise rotation doon sa H natin. So, 7.50 kN. 
multiplied by 10 meters equals 0. Okay. So, FGI will then be equals to so since this is um, uh, negative, so lilipat natin sa kabila, so maging positive siya. So FGI is equals to positive 13.13 kN. So meaning, tama yung assumption natin na FGI is in tension. Okay. So next problem. Ah, next so solve naman natin yung um, FFH and yung uh, FGH. Okay, so for this free body diagram, yung um, so solve natin yung FFH muna. Unahin natin yung FFH. <clears throat> so we will extend or extend yung FFH with its, line, with its line of action hanggang doon sa dulo niya. So sa F. So by um, locating FFH at F, so we can now um, get its component. So, um, so e if we zoom yung FFH natin, this is FFH, and this is alpha, no? So, this is alpha. So, this is its uh, Y component, and this is its X component. So, um, Y component is opposite to alpha, so meaning FFH is sine alpha. So, <coughs> and also... The x component is adjacent to the angle, so meaning cosine yung gagamitin natin for the x, its x component, so FFH. So, um, this time, hindi natin uh, magagamit yung, um, what do you call this? Yung uh, parehas na sa solution natin sa previous example kasi yung, pro yung proportions, kasi if this is 8 and this is 15, so hindi na whole number yung... Um, uh, yung ano niya, yung uh, hypotenuse. So, medyo mahirap na or uh, medyo uh, uh, magiging uh, hindi maganda magiging solution natin. So, mayroong mga decimal. So, gamitin lang natin is yung um, cosine sine na component method using the um, alpha. Okay, so um, to find FFH, so how do you eliminate FGH and FGI? So, that is by creating or um, a moment at G. So, mag-moment, summation ng moment tayo at G. So, may eliminate natin yung FGH, FG, and also yung Y component ng FFH. So, matitira na lang is yung S component. So, mahanap natin yung F -E FFH. Okay. So, summation of moment at G. Cos to zero, counterclockwise, positive. Okay, so first, we'll have natin yung 7.5. So, 7.5, it will create a counterclockwise rotation. So, positive. 7.50 kN multiplied by ilang, ilang yung perpendicular distance niya. So, that is 5 times 3. So, that is 15 meters. And then, yung... 1 dalawang 1 kN. So, yung dalawang kN magka-create siya ng clockwise rotation with respect sa G natin. So, negative 1 kN times, so yung first is 10 meter away, and then yung pangalawa is 5 meters away. And then, yung tira lang is yung um, FFH cosine alpha natin. So, this will create a clockwise, a uh, counterclockwise um, rotation. So that is positive plus FFH cosine alpha. Alpha natin is, so alpha is, yung alpha natin, 28.07. 28.07. So cosine 28.07 multiplied by its perpendicular distance which is yung 8 meters equals 0. So the only unknown here is yung FFH natin. So FFH is equals to so negative yung result niya no? So 13.81 kilo newton. So meaning mali yung assumption natin dun sa FFH. So meaning yung FFH pala is compression. Pag ganyan. 
Okay, so f of h is equals to 13.81 kilonewton compression. Okay, so dalawa na lang, nasolve natin. So, isa na lang, natitira na lang is yung um, G, uh, GH. So, yung GH na lang yung hahanapin natin. Okay, so to solve for GH, so katulad ng ginawa natin sa FFH, i-extend natin yung FGH on its line of action and look, um, placing the component at G. So, ito yung maging so, assume natin na tension muna yung mga components. So, before that, we will solve nat isosolve muna natin yung beta. So, um, X component is um, FJ sine beta kasi yung angle is opposite to ay uh, yung X component is opposite to the beta and uh, sa sine naman, sa Y component naman is um, adjacent dun sa beta. So um, opposite dun sa yung kanina so pag sub sa FFH so the angle is here. So that's why yung Y component is opposite but yung X component is adjacent. So but ngayon nasa taas yung angle Ganyan, beta. So, if this is the force, so yung X compo uh, Y component niya is um, adjacent and opposite yung Y component niya. So, kaya, ito na yung um, uh, components ng FGH natin. Okay. So, by creating a moment at, ah, isosolve pa pala muna natin yung beta. So, solving for beta, So, ito yung magiging triangle natin, no? So, this is 5 meters and this is 5.33. So, nasolve natin to kanina. And this is beta. So, ano yung gagamitin natin na um, equation doon sa Sokatoa? So, still yung tangent natin. So, tangent beta is equals to the opposite which is 5 meters over adjacent 5.33 meters. So, beta is equals to the tangent inverse of 5 over 5.33. So, beta is equals to na yung beta natin. Calculate nyo. So, that is 43.15 degrees. So, yan na yung beta natin. 43.15 degrees. Okay. So, now we can solve for the um, unknown member, no? So, by creating a moment at and then magmo-moment. So, for example, if we create a moment at H, so, present yung FGH and um, yung dalawang component. So, maybe we can locate a um, uh, joint where may element natin yung isang uh, unknown. So, maybe we can use sa L or sa um, sa G. So, but um, sa G naman, uh, sa I, present doon yung FH. So, but sa L, may eliminate natin yung FH, may eliminate din natin yung FGI and also yung FGH na uh, X component. So, matitira na lang is yung Y component ng FGH and then yung 1 kN 1 kN. Okay? So mas madali na yung maging solution natin. So summation of moment at L equals to 0 counterclockwise positive. So tatlo lang yung force na gagamitin natin. So this yung 1 kN here, 1 kN here and yung y component ng FGH. Okay, so the effect of 1 kN doon sa L is counterclockwise. So, 1 kN times, yung first is 5 meters, yung perpendicular distance, plus 1 kN, yung pangalawa is 10 meters na. And then, yung effect ng um, FJ's cosine beta is also clockwise. So, that is positive. FGH cosine beta natin is 
15 times yan yung distance niya that is 15 meters equals to 0 okay so FGH is equals to so negative yung result no 1.371 kN so meaning mali yung assumption natin FGH is actually in compression ganyan so, FGH is equals to 1.371 kN compression. Ayan. Okay. So, nasolve na natin yung mga um, unknowns natin. So, that is how you solve equations or problems or trust problem trust problem using new method of Jones natin. So, um, you can solve um, for other problems or watch problems sa YouTube to further understand. No? So, I can only provide you this much problem kasi um, mahaba yung, ano, mahaba yung um, lecture or yung discussions about these problems. So, um, on my part, mahirap mag-render ng video to un-upload it sa YouTube. So, please do um, have uh, or watch other problems sa uh, online. No? So, thank you for listening and have a good day. So, that finally ends our module 3. So, sample problems. So, um, thank you and have a good day.